call it the Meg the Stallion challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not gonna hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they for what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? We done seen y'all from every single angle possible. We get it. <laughs> then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky. Some of these, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think. Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like. Y'all don't care about y'all image to them. Y'all talking about a challenge? Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all want to keep getting up here selling yourself short for likes and attention for what? I'm not saying you got to be a nun, baby. I show skin. I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside. I do all of that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. Man used to have to go to a strip club to see. Mm. She, she ain't lying. Yeah, she went off. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, in, <laughs> all you gotta do now is scroll. Yeah, all she ain't lying. In, in the comments, people, of course, were coming at her because she was showing a lot of skin and and basically saying, you know, what? How are you talking about them when you you doing something similar? So, what did y'all think about what she said? I haven't seen the challenge, but I can, I, you know, I can imagine. I don't I've, know. I've seen. It. I've seen the challenge. I I've think it's. It. I, I, I think it's stupid. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, it's just stupid. I've not I, seen I, it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna keep it all the way of being. So. When you scrolling by, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you see certain stuff, you gonna pause for a second. But I did reach a place and look, you know what I'm saying? But then I got to a place where I started getting exhausted. Like, yeah, you yeah. start seeing the same stuff. You go to the Explore page, you see half naked, that's all they're showing. Like, you just start getting exhausted. You start getting overwhelmed, overstimulated. It's like, and you kind of feel like what she's saying. Like, man, can I just come on here and just see somebody NBA or something? Like, I don't mm -hmm. want to. And people yeah. say, well, just log off. Why do I got to log off? You know what I'm saying? Why Why is it that this is what you want to show? And it's up to the individual whether they want to yeah. look at it or not. But some people, like, if you're just scrolling up and down your timeline and that's all you see, like, that's what you see. When you're a popular figure, like you were saying before, like Megan Thee Stallion, all these girls in the headlock when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion and Lotto and all these folks, and they see them doing it and they don't have a proper female figure. I know girls who go to the same club with their mama. I know people who doing mm -hmm. crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah. So when you don't have no real, like, positive uh, models and you see these folks, they got money, they got fame, they got clout, they got all this kind of stuff and they doing it, you feel like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. And they don't really know no better. So for somebody to come out and speak and say that, and for me, I don't have a problem with her saying that with her outfit on. She's not saying you can't be attractive and do different things. I probably would not want my woman wearing it, but yeah, she <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But I feel what she's saying. I can come out and be attractive, you know what I'm saying, to be appealing. I don't have to be no... Uptight like this, but I don't have to have my behind on, so, on yeah. online half mm -hmm. naked every day shaking it in order to get some attention. So the, the concern for me comes what's going to happen in 20 or 30 years? Yeah. Right? If they get in this bold now, right, to show less and less oh, and wow. less, well, you know exactly. what I mean? And it's becoming normalized, then imagine what their children, he just said, a girl and her mama go to the same club, yeah. right? So it just, it, I mean, if that trend continues, so that's always when I see purple. these things, yeah, when I see these things, that's what hits me first. Man, what's this gonna look like in 30 years? Yeah. You know what I mean? How are, what's the world gonna be like? I want you to talk, you see a mother and daughter, they both shaking their behind together, like yeah. who the sister, who people, the mama, people, who yeah. do it in yeah. front of children. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna say this, and I'm gonna be the simp of the, of the week, but it's honestly, it kind of starts with us as men. Yeah. We gotta shut that down. If we, if we say, yeah. you know, you know, I, and I always think about this from a hip hop perspective and thinking about this topic. Like, when men, when I oh mean, but when when um, the drug dealers were getting talked about, and then the drug dealers became the rappers, like in the two thousands when the, when we was hyping up strip club culture, when we hot, talking about all the strippers and their songs, and then they became the rappers. Yep. This is the byproduct of that. Yep. Yeah. So we as men got to say, we we're tired of it. Yeah. Because they think that we like it. 
Well, the problem is, even if you, 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 yeah, and you are tired like of doing like it, there's men. a billion other dudes. No, but that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Men have to take the accountability to you ain't say, gonna get all well, you, yeah, you got it's, it's so, the reason so why what, the what do you do with the reality that no matter what we think, there's millions of dudes that love it? Well, because, uh, and, and I think the problem we're having is because the women are women are feeling like y'all like it. So we're going to continue to exactly. do it because y'all like but it. But here, the thing is, is you're right. They do. But the problem is. It, like she said at the end of the video, you're not giving them any kind of like work. You know what I mean, like it used to be where you had to sneak stuff, you had to go yeah, sign yeah, up for yeah, something. Yeah. Now it's just all over the place. So the thing is, I think what I would I would hope, if it's worse than this, then I don't know what to do. But I would hope the reason is because you want to feel appreciated, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You want people to notice you. You want to become famous, or you want to get money. Something. Yeah. Right? There's some reason. It's not just because you just like doing yeah. thing. Mm. So if that yeah. if that's the case, the problem is is the guys that like that and enjoy that, they don't have any respect for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what the thing that you want, you're not really going to get. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. they they don't even have it for you. But the enemy is deceptive. Yeah. Mm. He will make you think that they, also, they want that. But, yeah. but a mature man, right? Because mm -hmm. I lead the men's ministry. So, like, I deal with men all the time. And you get a lot of guys, man, Pastor, I'm struggling with this, I'm struggling with that. I get it. A lot of men, and, and plus a lot of men of color, are starting to date outside their race because we just tired of seeing them. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, uh, right? Boy, so you so you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I know they're going to be getting me up on this. But it's true to a, to a point, right? It is true to a point because... What's the church again? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back with a rebuttal yeah, on I that. Mean, yeah. I mean, we, we, we see it, and, and women know that men are sight stimulated, right? And so you may look at it, but you like, I may look at it, but that ain't. I wouldn't take her home. Nah. I ain't yeah, taking her home true. to meet mama. Wow. Nah, yeah, she ain't coming to the house. <laughs> true, and, but I look at you all day. Yeah, though, but, but I'm gonna tell you this though. Okay, go ahead. When you see them other races in the gym, what they doing? They doing them squats. They doing them things. They trying to they trying to get them butts like the black. Hey, they they trying to get. It's definitely not just a black. This is happening all over the place. But I think I think because it kind of origin. I don't know originates, but it's kind of we're we're the popular group of people on, especially on social media. So I think that's where that stems from. But I would just say. If you if if anywhere inside of you cares to find somebody who would really love you, really care for you, really sacrifice for you, put you first, all those kind of things that I would believe your heart actually wants. I'm telling you, I, I, everybody could give their testimony here. I 100 percent wasn't looking for that. Right. You know, looking for no booties shaking. Right. If, no, if you no, if you even look like you like attention too much, right. I wasn't interested. Yeah, right. So I My definitely wasn't was interested. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I wasn't trying to lock anybody down that was that that was that wild, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I liked yeah, yeah. it. Don't get me yeah. wrong, I, I entertained it. I no However, I want to say right? something to Jeremiah's um credit here. Dude, he said it starts with us, and then you had said something that you don't know if they're doing it for validation or to get likes or to feel better about themselves. Well, that's probably because a lot of times there isn't a man in the household. Or they haven't grown up in a two parent True. household, right? So it does really truly start with the men. It starts with us doing what we gotta yeah. do in our families, for our families, yeah. because that is a byproduct of that 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 evaporation of, yeah. of the family unit.